Now let's see the impact the revolution left on the everyday life that is on the common people. First of all the changes which were observed in the French society were that with the abolition of censorship there was lot of writing material or the printed material in the market. People could easily express their ideas through writings. So there were pamphlets, books, magazines, newspapers full of different views and ideas. They were free to write what they wanted to because there was no censoring of the articles. And due to the declaration of rights of man and citizen, it was a step moving forward towards democracy, a step towards liberty, equality and fraternity. Now the people started feeling that they are living in a liberated society, that they are feeling at par that is equal to each other. And slowly and gradually we have seen that France did move towards actually getting the shape of democracy in the country. Let's now draw the conclusion to the chapter. As we have already seen that since all the governments had failed in France, that is why it had paved the way for a dictator in the country and that was Napoleon Bonaparte. In the year 1804, Napoleon crowned himself as the Emperor of France. He started first of all with conquering the neighboring countries. He was called as modernizer because he started with the protection of private property. He gave a uniform set of weights and measures in the country and he gave in certain measures which made him, which made the people feel that he was in fact trying to modernize France. In the beginning, even other countries took him to be as liberator, that is somebody who would free them from the clutches of slavery, from the clutches of the inequality that they had been actually facing since many years. But later on, they saw the Napoleonic armies as invading armies and not as liberators. Therefore, finally he was defeated at the Battle of Waterloo. Now, there we have seen that the French government slowly and gradually moving towards the three watchwords of the French Revolution, liberty, equality and fraternity. In India, there were two great leaders, Tipu Sultan and Raja Ram Mohan Roy, who were highly influenced by the French Revolution. So that was the great French Revolution which gave the ideals of democracy to the entire world. And that's the big legacy of this revolution. That's it. Thank you.